Oh man, a first person shooter this week? I'm gonna kill it. Okay, okay, don't shoot the little gray guys, I got it. What they don't understand is that I'm the master of hiding around corners. Achievement! All right, what's this? Mastering the art of what? Dying? Oh, come on. What the heck? Howdy, folks, and welcome to Bean Farm Gaming. And this is our review of... It's Bouncy Bullets 2! I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed by... Petit It was published by those crafty guys over at Red Laka! You hear that, achievement hunters? Red Laka! up this week is the game originally released on October 8th on the Xbox console for the totally affordable price of four ninety-nine. Okay, sorry for that. A little over the top, I know. I can't help it. As we get closer to Halloween, it just brings it out. Okay, bouncy bullets too! Bouncy Bullets 1 was originally released in 2019 and with over 6,000 players on TA with a 92% of them found a way to complete the original. So I kind of just have to ask, are you ready for some more bullet bouncing? Oh yeah! Well, it's been long enough, we certainly are. The second of the series brings a bright and colorful world, approachable and easy to ease into. Easy to ease. The premise is easy. As a first-person shooter, you must run, jump, and shoot each zone's challenges and numerous obstacles on your way to the warp zone at the end of each level. That's it, right? Oh no, let's not forget about the stupid little timer at the top of the screen. <laughs> this little timer slowly ticks down to zero, pressuring you into blazing a trail right past or through various enemies between you and the end of the level. So that's it, just run to the end of the level? Just like Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, not so fast. <laughs> Not so fast? <laughs> oh man, I'm good! Good! Yeah, speaking of fast, the game has been designed to be a speed run and replay levels, challenging you to cut corners and find ways to shave a few seconds off your last completion. In the early levels, it's easy to just disregard this timer, but as you increase the level difficulties and fight your way into the latter levels, attempting to come up with a decent completion time, it can be somewhat of an afterthought. Bouncy Bullets 2 comes in with 45 stages that you can run through in three different difficulty levels. And a completely separate speedrun mode, as if the in-game clock isn't enough, so maybe they should have called this game Race the Clock, or Super Speedrunner, or heck, Super Runner Bullet Bouncer, I, I don't know. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Okay, I guess you're right. Bouncy Bullets it is, in which you bounce bullets. Both the original game and this one drop you into a colorful blocky maze world for you to rapidly navigate, shoot enemies, and escape the level as quickly as possible, given what it looks to be a Gatling gun. By the screenshots, I figured I'd be laying waste to whole levels of these used car lot fan-powered sock men. <laughs> Not so much. Instead, each small tap of the left and right triggers delivers a small pip 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 pip, pip as these small slow ass square blocks dribble out of my gun. Which happens to be the same speed that the enemy's bullets are travel at, so essentially the combat breaks down into pre-planning your shots and bullet dodging, in which you must plan in advance while you weave your way through the barrage of shots and obstacles. But of course it's not all land of gumdrops and candy canes. With all the gunshots and moving platforms, it's obvious that the developer traded frame rate for texture and environmental objects. Each level is sparsely decorated with only bare-bone structures required for you to quickly navigate without much thought of realism or artistic creativity. The achievements pop like candy, and of course this is considered an easy completion with a completion time coming in at about 15 minutes, following the guide made by Cheetah! Yay! Cheetah's guides! I 
love it. In his guide, he leads you through the entire completion in just 15 minutes. Skill dependent, of course, so good luck keeping up with his fast ass. Overall, we gave it points for being a cheap, easy, and fast completion, but it lost a few beans for its sparse environments, lack of any secrets, power-ups, or Easter eggs. We enjoyed returning to the bouncy realm once again to race through the levels, hearing those magical achievements pop throughout the journey, and for five bucks, we enjoyed the quick thousand G, and I'm sure the game provides someone out there a challenging journey through the full 45 levels. But for us here on the farm, Bouncy Bullets grabs three beans out of five. Yeah, well, that wraps up that review right there. Here's some notes I took. <laughs> Where I put the keys to the track. <laughs> so, you know, we make these new review videos every week. So if you're an indie developer or there's something you want to see. Harvest Moon! Besides Harvest Moon or call a pooty, let us know your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. Be sure to visit again next week as we continue to take humorous stabs at some of the industry's new and upcoming oh. titles. Battlefield, Battle Foxtrot 2042. Hey, out there. We'll see you next time on The Fog. That's it. Just run to the end of the level. Just like Sonic the Hedgehog.